um, again, in your opinion, what are the top mobile application threats out there today? So probably the best source for this content is the OWASP, the mobile top 10. There are many uh, issues on that. They do revolve periodically from year to year, but almost always in the top three is insecure communication. So the communication between the mobile app and the actual servers that support that, the services that support the mobile app. Specifically, insufficient protection of that transport layer. Right? We do have protocols like TLS, which we've introduced and continue to fortify, running over other protocols like IPsec. They do bring significant levels of protection, but that doesn't mean they're always configured properly. Adversaries experiment with that very protocol all the time to look for weaknesses, whether it's a zero day or even a well-known weakness because someone hasn't properly configured it in terms of how does the client speak to the server and then of course the response. That's always in the top three, that insecure protocol. The second of those is something that many app developers when they get started take for granted. And that is the protocol TLS is one example where we do a handshake between the client and the server. And often in that handshake, we wind up with a negotiation of what cipher suite are we going to use? So I can encrypt with this cipher suite. What can you encrypt with? Well, I can only encrypt to this cipher suite. So they negotiate down to a common means of encryption. In many cases, even servers, I see this all the time when I do assessments on vendors, I evaluate their servers to see whether the server is capable of being forced to negotiate to a weak cipher protocol. That negotiation happens, it's completely invisible to the end user. Even the app developer only knows that TLS will eventually get to an agreement on what is the encryption we're going to use. But attackers understand this and they force that protocol down to its lowest possible agreement, often weak cipher suites that can be broken. And even the third here is something that, that happens too often, but it's the fact that people don't check the SSL certificate. Many app developers will simply say, oh, the server is surrendering an SSL certificate, it must be valid. So I'm going to go ahead and use that certificate and if it looks okay, I'm going to continue to set up the communication with the server. But here's the problem. Adversaries know this too. So adversaries can very carefully forge certificates and they can stand up a server that stands in the middle of the protocol from the mobile device to the server. It's called a man in the middle attack. So they very politely negotiate a relationship. Their malware server picks up the, uh, the outbound communication from the mobile device or app says, I'm the server you think I am, let's negotiate. And then on the other side of the man in the middle is a negotiation with the server itself. So now you have a very effective third party hiding in the middle of what is thought to be a confidential communication path. That happens far more often than people acknowledge. And it happens a lot with early stage mobile apps where folks haven't really built in the hardening to prevent it. So those are the top three that I see on a regular basis in OWASP. And whether we really understand it's going on, we need to fortify our development organizations as a VP of product. I've done this with my engineers to teach them better programming techniques to avoid these assumptions. Don't allow these types of adversarial um, manipulation of the communication path to exploit our confidentiality. So all of them wind up being fundamental, but it isn't just the confidentiality. The man in the middle can also push malware back to the endpoint and violate the integrity of the endpoint. All of it appearing to be done legitimately based upon what we think is a secure conversation. So if you were talking to a mobile app developer, what would you tell them to do for their mobile security strategy? So I think from, from the first perspective, don't rely on just one technique. Layer your controls, layer your defenses. Yes, you're going to use TLS, we all do. Yes, we might use lower level protocols if the inbound, the, the network between them supports that. But if there are additional controls that you could layer on top of that to handle things like confidentiality, further encrypt the data in the stream, further obfuscate the data in the stream, 
if there's additional integrity checks, allow the protocol between the mobile app and the server to communicate and actually exchange pieces of information where they can further authenticate each other. And if the response isn't appropriate, now you don't trust that communication path. But build in these additional layers of controls because relying on TLS, we've seen adversaries can exploit that dependency. So have due diligence and due care in mind as you're bringing your products to market and recognize that one lock on the door is not always sufficient to keep the adversary from exploiting what is their primary target, your data. 